big picture is that all normal procedures uh, for preparing and taking decisions uh, in the EU have been put aside. The Commission has been shunted aside, not necessarily because it has been uh, doing the right things, uh, but nevertheless it is the legitimacy of the Commission has been uh, eroded. Uh, <coughs> and uh, the permanent <coughs> president of the European Council is a mere frontman uh, for the Merkel Sarkozy axis given by Berlin, which prepares and imposes its own solutions uh, uh, on everyone else uh, who come to the uh, European Council meetings. And Eurogroup meetings with uh, very limited knowledge, if at all, of what they are expected to shine onto. The most illustrated example uh, of this is the uh, so-called Pact for Strengthening the Economic Union. Um, I'm not quite sure what the, what the final name will be because it has been changing from uh, week to week, uh, but we know what they are talking about, the financial <coughs> pact or whatever. Uh, <coughs> this was sprung by uh, the Mercosi uh, duo with the backing of the European Popular Party, that is the right uh, party leaders uh, meeting in uh, this uh, prior to the European Council uh, on or everyone else in the European Council with no foreknowledge, public debate, or critical analysis. So the method by which uh, uh, these decisions are imposed is uh, uh, very, very questionable and has nothing to do with uh, uh, transparency and democracy. And then if we look at the pact itself, it also adds a new confusion to the already rather confusing EU institutional framework, which is the prime reason why the European Parliament has expressed its doubts about the uh, pact. <coughs> but also the larger framework on how the debt crisis has been uh, managed in the EU has contributed to the democracy crisis. Here in Finland, the Finnish Parliament, through its Grand Committee, the European Affairs Committee, has been the best uh, uh, informed national parliament. And this committee was meeting, for example, uh, at uh, 7.30 in the morning, uh, Monday this week, uh, to go through the proposals for the second week rescue package. But even if uh, our own system of parliamentary scrutiny uh, over EU affairs has functioned also during the Euro crisis, more or less as our own constitution requires it to do between government and parliament, it has actually meant that government has openly shared its own ignorance uh, with parliament in real time, uh, when the government itself is uh, generally uh, and usually only partially informed uh, at best of what will be uh, proposed at the meeting uh, the Prime Minister or Finance Minister will attend. There is also an established procedure for the Ministers in, in, on the Council to uh, inform the Grand Committee Chair during meetings if new proposals come up, but this is of course uh, here the passing on information with no possibility for really analyzing and taking a, a position on what will be proposed. Uh, but um, if this is the uh, situation in Finland, one can only ask what is the situation in other national parliaments. I believe that most of them uh, have been uh, informed only through the press uh, uh, and afterwards, if at all. And I here stress the role of national parliaments in this process. So with all due respect to the European Parliament, it does not carry the same democratic legitimacy uh, as national parliaments. And uh, of course, uh, it can have, have no say on that how uh, national budgetary resources uh, will be used, uh, for example, in dealing with the debt crisis. But uh, this is not to say that the European Parliament either has been adequately informed or consulted on those issues where it has real responsibilities under the treaties. Uh, and as for democracy in Greece, uh, one can seriously question whether the EU is now engaged in trying to turn 
the cradle of democracy onto the grave of democracy, even if some of the most outrageous proposals uh, for limiting Greece's democratic sovereignty have so far been rejected. I will leave my uh, comments on the socio-economic implications uh, uh, for later. Uh, but to be charitable, I think that uh, not everything that has been done so far is wrong, harmful or unnecessary. Uh, in addition to welcoming the new enthusiasm for the financial transaction tax, where the details, of course, uh, remain to be uh, uh, settled uh, and it has some principles. But in addition to welcoming this new enthusiasm, I believe, for example, that the permanent European stability mechanism, for all its uh, serious shortcomings, is still needed, and certainly better than the uh, temporary ESFS, uh, and that while the so-called six-pack of legislation uh, can and should be improved, uh, something of that kind is, has nevertheless uh, been needed. Uh, what I have openly questioned uh, uh, is the fact on economic union, which I still believe can be characterized as, as at best irrelevant and at worst potentially harmful. But what I hope is that we can use this uh, seminar uh, to move from concentrating on what has been done, uh, what has gone wrong, and what has been done wrong, uh, to focusing on what should be done to rectify past mistakes and to avoid new crises in the future. Thank you.